It's Mindset Monday, coming at you with energetic and tactical tips to help you level up your life and your week. Let's get it. Happy Monday, friends. Today's Mindset Monday episode is about the power of the journey en route to a dream or goal. This was a concept embodied by Kobe Bryant and his Mamba mentality. Growing up in Southern California, I was in high school when the Lakers did a three-peat with Shaq and Kobe. And let me tell you, it was impossible to live here and not idolize Kobe. After his death shocked the world last January, I started listening to interviews he'd done and I learned more about his approach. This quote stuck with me the most. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway, that is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. And this is what he shared in response to someone asking him what it was like to realize this dream of winning NBA championships. And it turns out Kobe was right. The pursuit of the dream is the dream. And actually, neuroscience backs this up. The following is an excerpt from a post in Behavioral by Design. Full article is linked in the show notes. There are two types of reward systems in the brain. Rewards that make us feel good about the present moment, which are regulated by release of neurotransmitters like serotonin and oxytocin. The other is the dopamine reward system, which is secreted in root to rewards. If you can introduce dopamine in small doses while pursuing a goal and then claim a high reward when you reach the goal, you will form neuroplasticity to reinforce the action reward circuit. Oftentimes, in pursuit of a goal or dream, it may feel like we are slogging through mud or through quicksand. Progress may be slow. We don't feel like we're getting anywhere. Ancient Chinese philosopher Lo Tu said that the journey of a thousand miles begin with a single step. In a time where we're accustomed to instant gratification, it can be hard to relish and stick with the steps required to arrive at that destination. James Clear, in his book Atomic Habits, also talks about this, about the period of latent potential. And he gives an example of a Chinese bamboo forest. So for the course of five years, the bamboo forest shows nothing above the surface. It's laying down deep, deep roots that will stabilize the forest once it appears. And then after those five years... When the root structure has been fully formed, Chinese bamboo grows 80 feet in six weeks. So even when it may feel like you're getting nowhere, know that you're just in that period of latent potential and to keep going. It's also worth it to stick with the pursuit of the goal for another reason. Jim Rohn said that the greatest value in life is not what you get. The greatest value in life is who you become. It's about who you become along the way. Your desires will never end. You'll achieve one dream or goal and you will have a new one. It never stops. It's like working on yourself, right? There are always additional levels of growth to unlock. So the desires will never cease. And that is the point, right? So the key here is to have the kind of dreams and goals that make something out of you in the pursuit of achieving them and making them reality. So with every setback, remember, you're building grit, you're building character, you're making progress, even when you don't feel like it. You are becoming someone that you can be proud of. And if you can keep going, one day you'll be at the top And you'll set your sights on a new mountain to climb and get to enjoy it all over again. So in the meantime, whatever journey you're on, whatever goal you're pursuing, whatever dream you're chasing, just enjoy the ride, the good parts, the bad parts, and the mundane. And in the meantime, enjoy all that dopamine. Thank you so much for listening to the show. 
If today's episode added value to your life in some way, please subscribe, leave a five-star review, and share it with someone who needs this. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram and hear how the show has inspired you. So tag me or slide into the DMs. Find me at Corporate Dropout Official or Alessia Citro. That's A-L-E-S-S-I-A-C-I-T-R-O and two underscores. Until next time, remember that you're a badass, stay focused, stay hungry, and dare to drop out.